Barakatah Yehowah, Barakatah Yehowah Shai, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yehowah, Ba'ashim Yehowah Shai, Ba'ashim Rekach Kodash. Double honors to our apostles at Great Millstone, who rule and teach well through the Holy Spirit. Peace, love, and mercy be unto the elect, Hakim, that are throughout the four corners of the world, has it in your lives to push this truth and to uplift the true names of Yehowah, Yehowah Shai. It has started, man. Esau has started. All right, Esau has been spying out the men of the Lord for a while. We are the ones that are on the YouTube, beginning with our apostles at Green Millstone, exposing this devil, showing his wickedness before the congregation. All right, showing his wickedness before the whole world via YouTube. All right, via uploading videos to expose the truth. All right, this world has been blinded to the devil, man. This world has been blinded. They have been ignorant. Our right, Esau has lied to them. Our right, Esau has pulled the wool over their eyes, but we are revealing the truth. All right, we are pulling back that veil through the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we have received through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, we have come back to the truth. All right, we have come back to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. We have come back to who we are, and we have come back to the knowledge that the so-called white man is the Edomites, and they are the they are the they are the devil, man. In the, in the words of Apostle Ramlab, you know who's the devil? Esau is a motherfucking devil, man. If you look on the screen, you know, because um, it is spirit had me wake up. You know, it's about 10, 10 13 a.m. You know, so I, uh, I woke up, you know, went went to the bathroom, did what I, you know, had to do. And I came to, to look, you know, pretty much at YouTube. And I'm looking at YouTube. And they got this new thing when when you scroll the video, the video plays, but there's no sound. And they and they have subtitles up in your video. We don't put fucking subtitles up in our videos, man. All right. But then but then when you look at the subtitle, it's not what the brothers are saying in the video, man. Here it is. This is a screenshot from uh, 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 GMS Dallas Live. All right. Uh, which they did on October 5th, 2018. And they got fucking subtitles up in their video. We don't put subtitles up in our video. And it says, and it says, run your house. I want to give all press unemployed, unemployed, or suicide by a fuck. All right, Esau is trying to demonize us and, and, and trying to paint us in the light as terrorists, man. This is something that, that they added into their. And that's the reason why I said it has begun, but really it, it begun it began a long time ago, but now it's it's is winding down, man. Here's another one. All right, this is from from the elder brother, all right, Kazak, and it says it says uh, shallow warm, yeah, sure, Allah Baraka too, Yahoo Baraka too, Yahoo Shaiwell Hard Rock. Why would you put a line there, man? In Baraka too. Why? Because they're trying to make these these Akim look like terrorists, as well as as well as making all of us look like terrorists. Because if you go to any video, there's gonna be some bullshit like this. Hey, the scripture says we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. All right, and and who does who does who does Satan wants to come come after? Who does who does the devil wants to come after? All right, because Satan isn't just speaking about the spiritual demon Satan. All right, Esau is our adversary. All right, Esau is the one that is that is trying to withstand. All right, prophetic things from happening. All right, out of jealousy, out of envy, out of hatred, and these devils know that we are the children of Israel. There's no way that you can't say that we we aren't the children of Israel. There's no way that you can't say that the most High doesn't exist. Esau knows that the things that are in the Bible are true, man. Beginning with the top heads of Esau. They go and search for things, ancient artifacts. They found the wheels over there in the, in the, in the, um, the, the Gulf of Suez. All right, from when Pharaoh was destroyed in his army. They found the, 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 the Ark of the Covenant on Mount Ararat. They know that the Bible is true. They know that the Most High Heavenly Father is true. All right. They know that we are the Israelites, man. And guess what? That perpetual hatred, that envy is still there. 
2 Corinthians 2 and in 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. That is a device of Satan, man. Why? Because he's trying to tie us. All right, we're innocent before the whole congregation. We are innocent. And the only thing that we have been doing is preaching, all right, and, and pulling back that curtain, pulling back that veil, man. Revealing this devil of his wickedness. But but he has to try to demonize us in, in some some manner, some some way, so that he can tie us to that movement, so that he can have justification to coming after us. And and you you got the whole thing that's happening with those those uh pipe bombs that are being sent to to um you know or well they were they were sent to thirteen different people, man. Or there was thirteen bombs. A thirteen is a, is a, is a is a uh, a, a, Lumi, a not Illuminati, but um, a, free, a Freemason number, man. Esau does certain things with numbers because he's into sorcery and witchcraft. But then they, they caught the guy and, and it supposedly and his name was uh, some kind of Hispanic name, man. Esau was a, is the devil. All right. And the reason why they're doing that and sending those bombs out and also talking about the influx of, of um, you know, people coming into the States from, from, from South America, the thousands of people coming, they're saying that, that uh, terrorists are coming through with them. They're ready to make a move. They're ready to implement the RFID chip and take down the men of the Lord in the process, man. And they're trying to tie us to that movement. You can't tie us to that. But anyway, since I mentioned this, this is Isaiah, the 25th chapter, in verse 7, it says, And he shall destroy in the mountain the face of the covering cast over all the people in the veil that is spread over all the nations. And what is the veil that is spread over all the nations? The lies that this devil has perpetuated throughout the world, man. Our, we're, we're taking back those lies. We're destroying those lies with the word of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, and we're causing people to see. So therefore, guess what? This devil has been exposed. You know, his skirt has been lifted up. All right? And the world is beholding his shame. As the scripture said, what happened? All right? This is uh, uh, Proverbs, the 26th chapter, verse 26. Whose hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness shall be shown before the whole congregation. All right. This devil's wickedness is being shown throughout the whole world. All right. Not saying that the other nations are part of the congregation of the Israelites. But the devils, you know, through us putting out these videos on YouTube is being being exposed, you know, for all of his deceit, all of his fraud, all of his hatred, you know, towards a specific people. Towards the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, and even these nations are, are tired of your, your, your red ass, man. Because of all of your wickedness that you've been doing throughout the world. So even they want you gone. The, the, the earth is rising up against you, man. All right? Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein. And he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. All right, and you have dug a pit for the children of Israel. All right, you have put them in a system of slavery, of, 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 of perpetual slavery. All right, and you're getting ready to fall into that same pit. All of the shit that you have done into the children of Israel is about to come upon your own pit. All of the shit that you have done into the other nations is about to come upon you. Verse 28, it says, A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it. A flattering mouth worketh ruin. All right, and that's this devil, you know, who has a lion sharp tongue, man. But pretty much, as you can see, this devil is um uh, is 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 putting those uh subtitles, which when you when you go and listen to the video, there's no subtitles there. All right, but pretty much when you when you're looking at like the the thumbnail, you're scrolling past the video. The video will, will play, but then they add subtitles, and and as you can see, the subtitles are saying bullshit. Sure, Allah Baraka too. 
All right, we don't, we don't. Come on now, we're not, we're not, we're not um, Arabic, man. We don't speak Arabic. Run, run for your house. I will. I want to give all press unemployed our suicide bomber. Fuck, that's a devil, man. A, a devil fucking put that there, man. And guess what? We are not ignorant of Satan's devices. And 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 the more this thing uh, uh, unwinds, you know, the more we draw closer to the end. Guess what? Certain things have to happen. And 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 what Esau is gonna do? He's gonna demonize us to the point where where eventually he comes after the man of the Lord. That's inevitable. All right. That's inevitable. Let me grab this in Second Ezra. And all of you that are fearful and faint-hearted, you're gonna run, man. But the but the righteous are gonna be bold as a lion because our our, our faith is in y'all about some your shit. Fucking devils, man. Second Ezra sixteen and seventy. For there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their, their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall... Salakia, so like, yeah, I missed, missed the verse. No, no, I read it. For there shall be in every place... And in every city, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So the insurrection is coming. All right. The insurrection is coming. But we're not afraid. All right. And there's a reason we're not afraid. Esau is going to be in the cities like madmen, sparing none. All right. He's going to be killing the men of the Lord, their families. If not taking their families and sending them off to re-education centers. That's the reason why you got you to gotta work out your own salvation. Because your woman might turn on you. All right. Some woman out there, she's she's Lot, Lot's wife in the reincarnation. All right. A lot of these women are Lot's wife. All right. So you got to you got to be in this thing, working out your own salvation. And if you're a man of the Lord, the Lord would deliver your family. But still uh, spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their house. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. So that means that the that the men of the Lord are going to go through the time of Jacob's trouble as well. But we're not afraid. All right, we're not afraid of Esau. We're not ignorant of his devices. All right, we know that he's coming, you know, and we know that he's going to be a demon to the regard of uh, trying to make us look like like we're terrorists when well, we're not terrorists. All right. All we all we are men with the Bible. When the when they reading the Bible becomes so dangerous. When when you when you devils are going around blowing people up, you're going around dropping bombs on nations. You're going around uh, uh, putting sanctions on nations to the point where their nation is reduced to 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 being poor. All right, they can't provide their nation with the with the essentials that they need. All right, you are the ones that are doing that to people, man. All right, you are the ones that are that are killing uh, children. All right, killing killing husbands. All right, leaving leaving mothers widow as widows, and you did that to our nation, and that's the reason why the Lord says that there's going to be war forever against Amalekite A Amalek. All right, when you go to uh, the Exodus, the seventeenth chapter, but eventually you're going to be destroyed completely, man. Why? Because the Lord has to put evil out of the earth. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. All right. And what is that standard? The standard is those chariots. Yahweh shining the angels are going to come in those chariots and deliver us, man, as well as men receiving spiritual powers. So the men of the Lord are going to be safe in that day. All right. Yahweh is our refuge. Yahweh Shai is our refuge. All right. That's where we run to for help. And you can't do nothing. All right. You can't do nothing against them. Even though we're going to be in that, in that time, Lord willing, I'm part of that number. The, that number is going to be saved in that time. So what what is the flood? 
go. The flood of ungodly men. Because that's coming. That's coming. All right. Let me see. So lucky. there's a, a specific verse that I'm looking for. And you know how specific you gotta be with the um with the blue letter. But here it is, it's Psalms 18 and 4. It says, The sorrows of death can pass me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. That's that's the flood that's coming. But you can't be afraid, you know, of these devils, man. All right, you can't be afraid of them. All right, your trust has to be in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, they're going to demonize you, as you can see right here. All right, they're going to demonize you. All right, they're going to demonize us, Salakia, because I'm putting myself in the mix. I'm not afraid of, of the devil. If you want to come after me, Esau, come after me, man. All right, if you want to kill me, kill me, man. I'm not afraid because my trust is in Yahweh Bashmi Shai. And I know as Yahweh Bashmi Shai gave me this breath within me. All right. All right. And he can take it away and he can give it back again. All right. We don't fear you. Matter of fact, let me grab that. All right. Fear not him that, that killeth the soul. I mean, fear not him that, that, um, that killed the body, but have no power to kill the soul. All right. This is Matthew 10 and 28. And it reads, and fear not them which kill the body and are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both the soul and body in hell. All right. Esau can't do that. He can't destroy both the body and the soul in hell. You know. He can't destroy us in, in, the, in, in uh, like the most high heavenly father can. The most high heavenly father can take you away from existence, man. And make it to where you never existed. And that's, that's exactly what the Lord is going to do to these Edomites. So who are they to be feared? I'd rather fear you. How about Shemi? I was shy, man. And if I got to lay down my life for, the, for this truth, then no well, man. All right. The, the, the time is coming where these devils are going to come after you. All right. They're going to come after we, like like they say in Jamaica. In J Jamaica them coming for we. All right. They, they're going to come after us, man. And they're going to try to demonize us. All right. They're going to try to connect connect us to terrorism, to, to, to Islam. Well, we have nothing to do with that. All right, we're preaching out of the Bible, the truth concerning you. How about Shimei was shy, man? And the Lord's coming to judge you. He's going to judge you, you Israelites, you wicked of our nation, as well as the wicked of Esau and the other nations. Yahweh shy is coming in those chariots to Basra. All right. He's going to cut off the thief and liar. Hey, we ain't afraid of you, Esau. Make your fucking move, man. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakudash, that will honor to our apostles that taught us this truth, and peace, love, and mercy be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.